This is the first ever image of a black hole captured by scientists from the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration. It shows the black hole at the center of the galaxy M87 and reveals a ring-like structure with a dark central region, the black hole's shadow. This breakthrough observation was achieved using eight ground-based radio telescopes around the globe, which together form an Earth-sized virtual telescope. This image is the culmination of decades of observational, technical and theoretical work. The Event Horizon Telescope is an international collaboration bringing up groups from Europe, the US and Asia, particularly Taiwan and Japan. And within Europe we are part of the Black Hole CAM project. It's an ERC Synergy grant funded by the European Research Council and I partner with Heino Falken in Nijmegen and Michael Kramer in Bonn. What we do here at the Getty University in particular is to provide an theoretical understanding and interpretation of the observations. In other words, we try to explain what is it that we see and why it looks exactly like that. And for doing this, we need uh, to perform simulations on different stages. Particularly, we need to perform simulations on supercomputers that tell us how plasma falls onto a black hole. In the reality, most of the matter is that not a directly fall onto the black hole. In the matter is usually it rotates around to the black hole. This is similar to the, uh, the Saturn. It's surrounding around to the ring st structure. Accretion disk is weakly magnetized plasma. In the magnetic field in the accretion disk, it becomes the tablet. Then it's the matter is due to the, uh, the rotation speed. Then it falls onto the black hole. So as the magnetized gas is falling onto the black hole, it heats up and therefore generates the light that we then see. Now from our daily experience, we expect that light travels on straight paths and straight trajectories. We call them rays. Uh, here the situation is very different. We have a black hole sitting right there and it's extreme gravity. It is deflecting and bending the light rays away from the straight paths and it basically distorts the image by a great amount. So, uh, in fact, you can see things that are actually behind the black hole and that you thought were obstructed by the black hole simply because the black hole is bending the light rays into your line of sight. So if you think about how the image is supposed to look like, you expect that the black hole itself doesn't emit any light, so you expect a dark region. And around that dark region, you expect a bright ring of emission coming from all those light rays that are strongly deflected and had plenty of time to move around the black hole and collect the light that we see. After we computed the radiative signature of our simulations, we have to compare them to the observations. And this can be imagined as you are in a, in a stadium in a, during a football match and you have an image. And you want to figure out if this person or whatever is on this image is among the spectators in the stadium. So what you do is you take this image and try to match it with all the 60,000 spectators in the stadium and you do this while you rotate it, you scale it, you increase the contrast, and you try to figure out first what is on your image. Is it a person, is it a cat or whatever? And try to match this. And this is very similar to what we do in the EHD. So we try to compare and match our observations with the theoretical predictions. Through the years, people have been proposing also alternative objects that mimic the properties of, of black holes that are uh, called black hole mimickers. And now with the Event Horizon Telescope, we have for the first time the opportunity to, to look at black hole candidates uh, closely enough to see whether they are really black holes or they show features corresponding to these other kind of objects. For example, here in Frankfurt, we have simulated accretion onto a boson star, which is one of these mimickers. And we see a flow behavior that is very different from what we expect in a black hole. So black holes actually are very difficult to study. That's why it's been a challenge which has not been uh, accomplished yet. Goethe University's team of theoretical physicists will continue to search for answers to unlock more of the mysteries of the universe.